Hey there, freaking nerds. So Intel just released an update to XCSS 2, which allows you to use XCSS frame gen and XCSS low latency on non-Intel GPUs. And that is XCSS 2.1. And so what I did is I downloaded the DLL files from their GitHub. And I'll leave a link to this in the description. And I just pasted it into my cyberpunk directory because cyberpunk just got support for XCSS frame gen and XCSS low latency. So I just updated it to XCSS 2.1. And since, it, since XCSS frame gen apparently now works on any GPU that supports shader model 6.4 and my GTX 1080 Ti supports, where is it? Shader model 6.4. Eight. I was like, it should work, and um, I tested it out, and it does. So let's uh, let's take a look at that in Cyberpunk. So we got Cyberpunk here, and I'm gonna go into the settings, and I have the game locked to 60 FPS, just because that's the frame rate that I'm recording at and also to make any like artifacts more obvious. But, okay, let's see, I have FSR 3.1 enabled right now, but um, let's see, let's go XCSS. XCSS performance upscaling with frame gen. So, okay, uh, I think I have to restart the game for it to work actually. Let's just do that. Okay, here we go, XCSS frame gen, all right, and okay, so when I was testing it, like I tested it just a few minutes ago to see if it worked, and I was like, at first I was like, oh my god, I don't know if it's working or not, it was like, because I couldn't see any artifacts, obviously, but then I turned it off, and the latency was a lot better, so... Um, really, the, there's, so this is running right now, you know, upscaling from 30 to 60. And there, oh man, maybe there's some frame latency. There might be some frame pacing issues right now, actually, because of, uh, I'm also recording right now, so that kind of makes it, that probably makes it a little worse. So I will say that, but, um, visually speaking, this looks just like 60, to be honest, 60 FPS. And uh, I was really impressed with that. There, if you notice, there's a little bit of like stutter going on in the camera movement, which I was not noticing five minutes ago. So I, I do think that's from the recording. But visually speaking, you know, it looks really clean. And uh, the latency, if you'll see also XCSS low latency automatically gets enabled um, when you enable frame gen, XCSS frame gen. So reflex is off, but XELL is on. And I guess you can set like a frame rate target, so like that'll be like a limit, like what it'll limit the frame rate to, which I think Reflex already does effectively. It just like chooses the limit for you. But anyway, um, do I have, oh, why do I have this shit turned on? Um, but okay, I'm gonna, so let's just look at it a little more. So this is upscaling from 30 frames per second up to 60 because I'm locking it at 60. And I know it might not, that's not very believable because it looks just like 60. It looks just like 60 and it, you know, it feels very playable. I would definitely actually be able to play like this. And there's no like visual artifacts even on my sword besides the, the upscaling artifacts because I am upscaling also just to ensure a consistent frame rate. But um, if I go, if I turn frame gen off, and it says I have to restart, but I don't. It, now this is a lot more responsive. This is way more responsive. It feels like 60, so that's cool. But the visuals are almost identical. Like maybe there's a little bit less ghosting because it's you know higher frame rate and that helps with 
TAA slash upscaling, but um, the visuals look almost identical, even though it's running at twice the frame rate. Um, so XCSS low latency really works well. So now what I'll do is I will um, switch to FSR 3.1 frame gen. And um, I have to restart to do that, actually, for that to work. So I'll do that real quick. All right, so now we're back in game with Cyberpunk. We're back in game with FSR 3.1 frame gen, still using XCSS uh, upscaling, but it's a lot more choppy feeling. Like, yes, it feels better than 30, even though that's what it's running at. It's upscaling to 60 with FSR 3.1, but it just did, like, this is what I expect frame gen to feel like because this is what I'm used to. This is what I'm used to. It's like, it's weird. It's like certain parts of the screen are gonna are, like feel very smooth and then certain parts feel like they're lagging behind and like are choppy and I'm not just talking about the UI. But it feels a lot, like I would not use this. I would not play the game like this. But with XCSS frame gen, I would. So that was what was surprising, how different the experience was. Because this just, yeah, I don't know, this like feels like 30 but slower. Because there's still like weird artifacts going on. Just like, not, I guess not so much artifacts, just like... It's hard to explain it. Like it feels like it's halfway between 30 and 60. And not in like a good way. But now let's see, am I able to... Um, well, I guess, let's see, let me switch back to XCSS. Okay, I'm gonna restart the game. Now we got XCSS frame gen now. And it's a night and day. Oh my god, it's a night and day. And still, I'm like, I think that's a frame gen artifact, like a little bit, maybe, I don't know. A little bit, yeah, I'm still seeing artifacts a little bit, like, it's just a little bit of like ghosting very subtly when I do that with, with the camera glitch there, but. It's night and day. This is so much better than FSR 3.1. And um, let's see. When I was testing it, it was not able to quite double. It was not able to double my frame rate. I think there is a higher performance cost than FSR 3.1 because I think this is using machine learning for its frame gen, and FSR is not for its frame gen. Um, so I think this was only like I was getting 50 FPS uncapped. And then I think it was able to raise it to about 77. And I'm, only, I'm not testing that right now only because of uh, recording with NVENC on my GPU and um, it making frame pacing even worse if I don't cap the frame rate. But this, like, if, if I was playing like this, I would not question that this was 60. That's what's amazing. But then the way I know that it's working actually still, the way I know that frame gen is working is that when I turn it off? It just feels even better. This feel, Now this feels amazing. This feels like 120 at this point. Like the responsiveness. It feels very smooth. But how similar it looks. How similar it looks to XCSS. That's what's crazy. So I'm, yeah, I'm using XCSS upscaling and frame gen now. Okay, yeah, it turned back on. This definitely turned back on. It feels, okay, now this feels laggy. Yeah, now it feels laggy compared to 60. Definitely. But it looks so much better than FSR frame gen. Let's just do a little battle, see what that looks like. So yeah, the input latency, I am definitely still, but it's running at 30 again. 30 upscaled to 60. I'm going to die because of it. Shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely um, still has the input latency of 30. So that's why this even makes it all the more amazing that it looks as good as it does. Ah. But yeah, again, I ups updated to XCSS 2.1 to get this feature. It 
was not working for me. I was not able to enable it when I was just on XCSS 2.0 from the Cyberpunk frame gen and low latency update. But let's see, can I just disable XCSS frame gen and enable XC low latency? Yeah, looks like I can. What if I turn off, um, well, let's just keep XCSS on, okay. So no reflex, just uh, XC low latency. And yeah, it looks like you can use that even on GTX 10 series GPUs, so that's crazy. That's cool. I mean, I guess who, I don't know how to tell if that's really working or how well it's working compared to Reflex. Presumably, like, you know, pretty similar, but it feels pretty responsive. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, I guess that's all. I just want to get a quick update out that XCSS frame gen and XCSS low latency work on any GPU that supports shader model 6.4 and up now as of XCSS 2.1 and that includes the GTX 10 series and the GTX 1080 Ti and the 1060 and I'm sure it includes a lot of AMD GPUs too. So yeah, try it out. I just put the DLL files in uh, Cyberpunk and it worked, so check it out. Peace.